Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia in the last part. I had a different microphone, so if anything sounds different, uh, please let me know. Or if anything sounds different, then that's why, just because I had to get a replacement mic today. So let me know if it sounds better or worse or whatever. It's the same exact mic model, so it shouldn't sound any different, hopefully. So anyway, in the last part, we were side questing. In this part, we're going to take a break from side questing so we can do some more side questing. So yeah, that's awesome. Anyway, uh, right over there, um, you can see the pink Mia kiss over there, which is, again, where we saw um, Lysidia the painter. So now we're able to come here and take advantage of this. Huh? This is not good. I must be getting old. That Mia kiss looks pink. It sure resembles the courier of fortune Mia kiss. Okay, so all Miyakuses have the same name, but just a different title. Whatever. <laughs> You're not mistaken. That Miyakus is pink. Thank you, Keel. Thank you very much. What? Come on, get him, Max. You can do it. You and your stupidity. Oh, never mind. You got indignation. Damn, I was so close. That's what she said. Oh, okay, sorry. I, uh, that just popped in my head right then. Anyway, I don't understand people who can believe in some kiddie legend like the Courier of Happiness, Miyakus. Yeah, even I want to believe a legend once in a while. <laughs> just kidding. The truth of the matter is, I like to feel its electric shock. I'm kind of a masochist that way. It helps me learn a new skill. It never fails. Yet again, I've got a new idea for a skill. Cool. This can get addictive. <laughs> Very nice. So we have a new skill. Is that kind of dangerous? Not really, because now we have Aqua Spiral. Danger has been lessened significantly. Uh, Aqua Spiral is a very good move if you control Max directly. Um, being, if you, okay, wait. You know how with Burning Force, you have the ability to input button commands during um, the firing of that skill? Jeez, during the firing of that skill? Well, if you do that with Aqua Spiral, you can get like three or four or five more hits than normal, and each of them do the same amount of damage as the first hit. So if the first hit, I mean, like if you're doing like 2,000 damage for one hit, you're gonna hit like 10,000 damage. It's a really, really good skill, but only if you're controlling Max. You can't input button commands if you're having Max controlled by the AI. And again, we're coming back here to Port Peruti, which is, again, the first place where we saw uh, Lysidia the Painter to find Miyakis. Yeah, it's the courier of for fortune, Miyakis. And I really screwed up that, yeah. <laughs> well, Merity always wanted to pet pink Miyakis. Too bad, he's running away. <laughs> Leave this to me. I find it kind of surprising I actually have kind of a good Max voice. Whoa! Yeah! I thought it was Gya. Oh well. What are you doing? You're getting owned, that's what. Yeah? Why do you run from me? Because you scared it, Max. Yeah? Did I? No matter, I just got an idea for a new skill. Wahahaha, <laughs> let me guess. What luck, what luck? Wah, yeah, blah, ha, ha. Max learned Airblade, just like for Cestus in Tales of Symphonia, he has Airblade. And I think maybe possibly Rita has that in uh, Tales of Asperia. I don't know, I haven't really gotten that far into it to see if she learns that or not. So, eh, I just kind of assume that she has it because she can get, uh, uh, spiral Flare, there we go. Anyway, you might have noticed, I've been grinding a little bit. I got up five levels with everybody, we're now level 50, and I have over a million gold. Um, now, you might be saying, well, now that you have a million gold, you should go back to the, um, you know, the hideout, the, uh, what, what is that called? Oh, Shaleska hideout to get the rest of his guns. That's very good to do. I agree that that's a very good thing to do, however, I tried that in a failed recording of this, and I donated every cent I had, and they actually didn't give me any guns. It's really weird, it's like sometimes during the game you can get them, 
and other times you can't get them. I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that to actually finish getting all, all of his guns, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, a uh, very, very good way to make money here is get in, an, get in an encounter. That's kind of hard to say very quickly. Get in an encounter with um, the skeleton enemies here called Dragon Tooth, and they will draw. They have a chance of dropping protect rings, which you know I showed in the last video. Uh, it's not those guys. Uh, they can drop, you know, protect rings, and those go for eight thousand gold apiece in any shop. No, 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 no! Stop hitting me! No! Stop hitting me! Oh, you suck! Oh, I'm trying to run! Stop! Okay, thank you. Jeez, those mega deaths are really annoying. All right, so. This is still one of my favorite dungeons, however, simply because we can, you know, just run around at our at our leisure. Um, at, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure that holy bottles don't do anything here, so don't bother with those. Right, you know what? I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna kill you in like two combos, so it's okay. And good, explode. Kaboom! There we go. That's <laughs> Michael Bay spell. <laughs> the teenage alien ninja turtles. Do I even need to say anything? No, I didn't want to do that. Oh well, whatever. No. Okay. Flare arms. Cool. That's for uh, what's her name? Uh, Farah. Arms bearing the power of the fire cramel in the world where there is no fire cramel. So that's interesting. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Run past him. Yay. Man, that's what I love about the series. You can avoid enemies, and you can also run headlong into them if you're not careful. Okay. No, not mega death. I don't want to be rocked to death, man. All right, come on. Run, 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 run. Thank you. Okay. Because I, I'm just running from these because I I don't need to grind. I really don't. Like you can beat this guy around level 45 to 46 ish. You really don't need to grind for this uh, like this much for this guy. But I felt like power leveling just because I didn't really have anything else to do. And I was actually, um, well, I just, I was busy before I was recording, like I was talking to other people. So, yeah, I might as well just kill time. Oh, those, that's them, the Dragon Tooths. Yeah, Chad, you go with your freaking pow hammer. And of course, her hammers are still very, very good against pretty much anything she throws them at, so yeah. And she also got Ice Hammer, which, um, so far, I've not seen it freeze anybody, so that kind of sucked. Ew! It's like, no! I, I was trying to get up the ladder, but I couldn't get up. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't get it up. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, and Sylph. Something I did not know that Sylph did. As you can see, he was pulling the enemy toward him. I didn't even know that it did that. It's very cool that it does it, because, the, you know, the tornado at the beginning of the attack pulls enemies towards him, which is awesome. It basically makes it so that it never misses. But I, I mean... Well, there is no but about it. That's just awesome. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, thank you. I like my analog control to be on. Thank you. Um, okay. So this can be a little bit annoying here. Oh, yeah. Now we have this part of the dungeon where there are random battles. And this is where you can get most of the experience. If you come in here around now, like if you come to this area to train, then you'll get a lot more experience. But that means it's also time for a holy bottles. Also, right here, I had a red sage. I think I might have changed that to a red savory in a previous video, but in this one, I went ahead and, you know, made it a red savory again. So, right here, uh, you need to kill these four enemies. Um, hello? Oh, okay, you need to talk to them, my bad. This is pretty much the meat of the dungeon. Uh, you got the dragon tooths, metallicors, and a mega death to deal with. So go for the mega death first, because the mega death is the one that's gonna be rocking you to death. Okay. Ow! 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 Thank you. Thank you, chat, for uh, poisoning them. All right. So. Okay. Good. That thing's still weak to ice. I mean, uh, ice. Uh, you know, light. See, look at that. We just got nearly 8,000 gold and 2,000 experience. It's really good. It became a little darker. Hmm. I wonder what that could be useful for. Probably not anything really awesome. Anyway. 
this is actually a pretty quick dungeon as long as you have a decent level. If you're not at a high enough level, this can be pretty brutal, as I was saying before. These enemies, they're good. <laughs> Especially the Mega Death. Uh, sorry, I need to stop saying Mega Death like that. I just can't help it. I mean, Mega Death just I mean, it just sounds like rock, you know? Probably because it is rock. Yay. Oh, Nurse didn't get on to chat. Oh, well. That's okay. Oh, man, but... Oh, oh it became a little darker again. Um, something that scared me today was... Uh, like, remember how I was talking about how I got a new mic and stuff like that? It's the same exact mic as before. Well, I came home and, like, after getting... This was after I bought the new one, which ended up being, like, $44. What the crap? We got a Wens? Whatever. Anyway, um, after spending $44 on the, you know, the mic and stuff, I came home and I tried out the one that I thought was broken, and it worked. It still worked, but, um, it only worked for like five minutes at a time. I'd be talking, I'd be like narrating and stuff, and then it would just fade into static and you couldn't understand a word I was saying. So, I'm very good. I'm at the same time happy and sad that the, that the original one was broken. Like, completely broken. Because then, well, one, I'm happy that I didn't waste 44. Stop hitting me. I'm happy I didn't waste $44 for nothing. But then I'm also kind of sad that now I really am down to just one mic. Um, it became a little darker. Hey, I predicted the text box. <laughs> Um, if you guys want to know what kind of mic it is, I guess I'll let you know. It is a Microsoft Life Chat LX3000. These are very nice mics. They're a little bit pricey, but that last one that broke, it lasted me like a good freaking year and a half to two years of use. So that's really good, and I use it uh, pretty much for everything to recording and uh, narrating and stuff like this to, you know, just playing on uh, Left 4 Dead and stuff. It's very good. I like it. Now, I won't recommend you buy a... Ooh, we got a new skill. I wouldn't recommend you buy a Microsoft computer, but a mics, no problem. It's very good. I like it. Anyway, enough commercials for the... ah. You know what? That's what I get for having a commercial in my freaking game. And right here we have the really freaking creepy enemy of Gravekeeper. Look at that thing. That's like a walking pile of bones. That's nasty, man. And they can also cast. They have Aqua Edge. It's not very powerful, but it can be annoying. Don't worry too much about them. It's not. They're not really a problem. It's just they're freaking creepy looking. Okay, so. Now. Uh, who do I want to use for this? Do I want to use Max? Let's use Max. Why not? We'll give him a shot. Since, uh, get it? We'll give him a shot. And he shoots things. Uh, okay. And he's got a frick ton of um, HP, so he'll be probably our item user. But now he's got Burning Force, Aqua Spiral, and Air Blade. So it's not bad. Uh, Air Blade functions, I think, pretty much the same way that it did in Tales of Symphonia, where it kind of... It hits, like, three times at the same time, so it's really good. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything that... I want to give him something to give him some more TP. I guess I'll just rely on, you know, items. But, let's see. Uh, there was something I wanted to give him. Was it just the moon crystal? Yeah, it's just the moon crystal. He'll be okay. Even without a helmet, I think he'll be all... He'll be all right. Okay. Now, skills, I want to make sure he's doing the right thing. Okay, good. All battle TP. Okay. We should be good now. Um, ready? Let's see. Are we fully healed? I just want to check. I just want to be absolutely safe. I remember this being a very tough fight. Um, okay. Uh, orange shells. We're not going to be using those as much, so we'll use those out here. There we go. Now, let's, go let's do this. There's a breeze. Down here in the cave? Keel, be careful. Hey, <laughs> if you fall from here, I think you'll be dead forever. It's too dark to see anything. From here, from the echoes I hear, I estimate that it must be at least 3,000 Wang to the bottom. <laughs> I'm getting a bad feeling about this place. Let's get out of here. Fear clouds judgment. You're not going to find any if... 
Wait, you're not going to find anything if you let fear get in your way. Well, we weren't looking for anything. Humans are terrified of darkness, yet they fail to recognize the true darkness within their hearts. Why, hello there. How you doing? Whee, long time no see. Not really. Have you met him before? You bet. He gave us Excalibur, the ruins of Volt. Are you the greater Dark Cramel Shadow? Indeed. I hope you have a justifiable excuse for disturbing my darkness. What? Disturbing your darkness? We came down here and made it darker for you. You should be. You should join us for no reason. We need your help to save the world. Do you want to test our strength? Of course. M. Bison, come! Oh, and you got, like, the big bad theme here, because... Oh, you got the empty dolls, too. I forgot about those guys. Oh, that's why this is even a freaking worse fight. You have to fight him and a couple of minions. Ugh. Okay, so Shadow... He can be tough. He has... A hundred thousand? What? Ow, stops? Whoa, okay, never mind. You don't have to have someone controlling him for that to be good. Uh, it's good overall. Now, the empty dolls. You want to kill them if you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Merity, spectacles on the empty doll. Oh, man. Holy crap. These guys are way stronger than I remember. Did I put the difficulty up? Airblade! <laughs> Here, I want you to use Aqua Spiral, please. That was so good. Holy crap. Okay, skills. Use Aqua Spiral on Shadow, I guess. Ow! Ow! Alright, we have items we can use. We got plenty of items. See, look at this. Well, check it out. Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. He got like seven hits. See, Max... Here, well, I'll watch this. Look at that! Did you see that? Oh, he missed! No! Oh, he's probably gonna hit the empty doll, though. Okay, lemon gel on Pharah. Aha! No, no, no! Get away from Merity! Okay, uh, sorry. I got, I got to con- I got to kinda concentrate on this, so I am going to have Pharah use a lemon gel on Merity, and now I will hit these guys. Because they are constant. Okay, so, so, shut up. Shut up. You're not funny. You're not funny. Quit it. All right, so what's Shadow at now? I mean, I've been doing a freaking number on him with Aqua Spiral. Oh my. Again. Again. We make these guys look like a complete joke when they are actually very tough. Okay, well, that wasn't very tough, but you know what I mean. Man, I made him look like a joke. I now understand the sincerity of your intentions. They are admirable. Show me the way. Uh, we'll put him in keels. That's how I had him last time. Over here! Yeah, get in my cage. I can't believe it. We befriended Shadow, the one who unifies all primary Kramels in Celestia. Keel, I'm overwhelmed too. Reed? You know, it's not so hard to see in the dark once you get used to it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway. Man, Max, you're a boss! And man, we've already... We almost went up two levels for that. Two levels! Oh, that's awesome. Man, that was so easy. Okay, so as soon as you get him, fringe. You'll make like three, I bet. Uh, okay, so dark, just dark force. Alright, anything new? <gasps> Cyclone! Oh, so nice. Okay, so Cyclone, a ground dasher. Um, and that's about it. Uh, deep mist? Well, that's about all we want for now. Uh, I'm gonna actually... I'll get Max... You know what? Here, let's do this. Let's take Farah out, and I'll put in uh, Keel, so you can see Dark Forest and stuff. But man, you see what I mean about Aqua Spiral? It's actually really, really good. That is serious... That's a very powerful spell. I mean, you guys were paying attention to that, right? It was like five... It was... It was five hits. I counted. It was five hits... And each one of them did, like, 3,000 damage. It's a, like, it's a 15,000 damage dealing spell. Or, it, it's basically a spell, you know what I mean. It's devastatingly powerful. I adore that skill. But, remember, 
he has another skill that's even more powerful. Yeah, more powerful than that. I know that you're probably just... It's like, what the frick could be more powerful than that? Ho 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 ho! You'll see. Okay. Anyway, we can't get it right now, though, sadly. Okay, get away from the ladder. Get away from the ladder. What are you doing? What are you doing camping? Ah, oh, you're camping. Quit camping. Okay, can I please get up the ladder? Oh, whatever. I'll just run into him. I don't freaking care. All right. We've wasted too much time here. We need to get on with what we were doing. And also, uh, something that's important about coming here, this will help you uh, prepare for the next boss fight, which is a doozy. I made, okay, I made Shadow look like, I made him look easy. He's tough. He's got 100,000 HP and his two minions have 60,000 each. That's insanely strong. That is very strong. Um, now, the next boss, I believe, is the first time you, oh, well, we just, yeah. we just fought someone with 100,000 HP. Um, <laughs> he has 100,000 HP as well, I think. I remember him having 100,000 HP. But he's he's nasty. You'll see you'll see why when we actually get to him. And don't worry, he's like he's in the next video without a doubt. He because he's right next to us. Um, get up the ladder, Reed. Man, you're like Fox from Star Fox Adventures. You can't climb for crap. Okay. Anyway, got to be on the exact right pixel of a spot. Ugh! Quit it. Freaking. I don't care. I'm showing this. I'm showing this. I don't care. Okay. Now, can we please get out of here? Oh, he's casting Dark Forest now, I think. But too bad you don't get to see it. <laughs> anyway. Alright. So. Now that we're out of here, I'm going to go ahead and end things off. And in the next part, uh, we will go to... Oh, geez, there's so much stuff to get out of. But hey, you never have to come back there again, so it's okay. Next time, we will head to Belir Castle, which is where we were supposed to be going the entire time. So, I'll see you guys there. <laughs>